avoid a climate disaster. You think that climate change could be a bigger disaster than COVID. Why is that? very much at the forefront on this hunt for a vaccine. We've all learned by now the timeline, the hopeful timeline of 12 to 18 months. That is a highly expedited track, a fast track for a vaccine. Can you explain why? <laughs> Deviling during this crisis. It, um, be deviling during this crisis. It, is there something to worry about with medicines? That is, might some of them have side effects? Do we need safety testing? I mean, and we're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms, and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. So genetically modified organisms, and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids arms we just shoot them right into the vein genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids arms we just shoot them right into the vein growing anti -vaccine. well i feel about vaccines like i feel about tests this is going to go away without a vaccine it's going to go away and it's uh, we're not going to see it again hopefully after a period of time this is going to go away without a vaccine this is going to go away without a vaccine quickly the well when we have the vaccine we have the military all lined up and the military is going to be doing it uh, in a very uh, powerful manner uh, these are people that don't usually do vaccines they do soldiers and they do lots of other things that frankly are more difficult, but these are people that don't usually do vaccines. They do soldiers and they do lots of other things that frankly are more difficult. But I think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. We're doing very well with the vaccine. And I will tell you something. I just literally left a meeting. We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. This is going to go away without a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. This is going to go away without a vaccine. What the fuck are you talking about? This makes no sense. And today also, the CDC is announcing additional steps Americans can take to defend against the transmission of the virus. The CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering as an additional voluntary public health measure. So it's voluntary, you don't have to do it. Healthy people are being warned against using face masks to protect themselves against the virus. As Justine Conway explains, experts fear incorrect use could lead to more infection. If you do not have these symptoms, you do not have to wear masks because there is no evidence that they protect people who are not sick. This is voluntary. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it. CDC is recommending that Americans wear a basic cloth or fabric mask. They can be either purchased online or simply made at home, probably material that you'd have at home. I think uh, wearing a face mask as I greet presidents, prime ministers, dictators, kings, queens, I don't know, somehow I don't see it for myself. I All over the country, we're seeing signs, people saying you must wear a face mask. Governors are mandating it, and even President Trump himself wore a face mask at a Navy hospital recently. This is voluntary. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it. What does science say about face masks and whether or not they prevent the spread of viruses like COVID-19? Total of six RCTs involving 9,171 participants were included. There were no statistically significant differences in preventing laboratory-confirmed influenza, laboratory-confirmed respiratory viral infections, laboratory-confirmed respiratory infection, and influenza-like illness using N95 respirators and surgical masks. By the way, just to be clear, in the 2009, 2010, 2012, 2016, and 2017 studies, they all found the very same thing as the 2019 and 2020 studies. Tonight in About Face, 
President Trump, for the first time, tweeting out a photo of himself wearing a mask, writing, many people say it is patriotic to wear a face mask when you can't socially distance. There is nobody more patriotic than me, your favorite president. The reality is, number one, wearing an N95 face mask does not prevent the spread of virus. Number two, wearing a cloth mask does not prevent the spread of virus, but can lead to a greater chance for infection from a virus. I'm a believer in masks. I think masks are good. Talk of protecting you from a virus with a mask is not based in science. People should not be walking around with masks. What? This makes no sense. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. I'm going to speculate as to why all of the media and our political leaders are whipping up hysteria over this idea of global pandemic. Our central banks and our governments have created a financial crisis by using unbacked debt-based fiat currency, unlimited government borrowing, and impossibly escalating levels of taxation to service all the debt. We are very near now the end of our monetary cycle where debt can no longer be sustained. Currencies everywhere are being overprinted and nearing collapse. Equity markets are irreparably overvalued and our currency systems must undergo a major reset. And they said, we may have to close it up. I said, close what up? They said, close up the country. This was artificially induced. We just said, they said, close it down. You have to close it down. We closed it down. And we just said, they said, close it down. You have to close it down. We closed it down. As they desperately issue helicopter money for bailouts and giveaways, the currency will sharply inflate and trillions of dollars of monetary value will simply disappear for most of us as those who control currency will collect that wealth. Trump said he would sign an executive order that would extend unemployment benefits. So we're going to have the payroll tax go till the end of the year and it'll be retroactive to July 1st. It'll go to the end of the year payroll tax. We're going to enhance unemployment benefits through the end of the year and defer student loan payments and forgive interest until further notice. Late last night, the Senate did unanimously approve an historic $2 trillion relief bill meant to ease the economic pain of the coronavirus. It offers hundreds of billions of dollars to big companies and small businesses, along with cash payments to many Americans. Most people are not aware that this disaster was predictable and inevitable. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. You're free, and freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos and order, but we order out of chaos, but we will. Yeah, John. Well, Donald, you know, is great at, at the uh, one-liners, but he's a chaos candidate, and he'd be a chaos president. He Are you with the Bureau of Prisons? You're military? You're not commenting? There's a disturbing trend of unidentified security forces showing up in the nation's capital. Been, I spoke with a National Guardsman who was AWOL as of today. He asked to remain anonymous and for his voice to be distorted because he fears for his family's safety. And uh, that the way I said, well, how, do they, how are they going to roll this out? You know, the American people aren't going to stand for this. What about, you know, the National Guard or the veterans? And she said, they have no idea what's coming for them. When we do this, it's gonna happen so fast. And I said, well, tell me how it goes. And she said, okay, here's the plan. The plan is there will be some event or series of events that will create so much chaos in the world, so much uh, that even the police, I said, what about the police? You know, she said, the police uh, will stay home. 
She said, it will be so bad that po the police will say, I did not sign up for this, and they won't go. And the ones that do go will easily be taken out by our army. And I said, well, what's going to happen? I mean, are you going to be wearing American uniforms? Is this American military? And she goes, no. She says, in the middle of this chaos, in the middle of the um, fog of war, when everyone thinks everything's gone completely haywire, then suddenly you'll see these forces just emerge, all dressed in black, all dressed in SWAT gear. She said they will uh, be driving, you know, uh, all look-alike black SUVs, and they will look and sound and act very official. And they will just simply claim that they are now in charge, and everyone should do as they say. After what happened in Lafayette Park, that was a sickening to me. And I, I didn't even want to put on the uniform anymore. I've totally stepped away from the armed forces and am denying uh, going in. Manufacturing or exploiting some global threat not only allows blame for the economic disaster to be diverted from central banks and government officials, but also gives an excuse to impose authoritarian public policies so that riots and civil unrest can be harshly dealt with by state-sponsored violence and force. Overnight in Portland, more clashes. Growing calls for these unmarked officers to leave Portland. What? Videos posted to social media show federal officers pulling a protester into an unmarked van and driving off. What? Video from Thursday also shows tear gas, which Portland police say they did not use, prompting questions as to who did. This makes no sense. Now, President Trump has ordered the Department of Homeland Security to respond to, quote, dominate the protesters. It is part of our nature to try to impose some order on the chaos. So Donald, you know, is great at, at the uh, one-liners, but he's a chaos candidate, and he'd be a chaos president. <laughs> what we have here is a contradiction. Lulu thinks she sees a contradiction, and her tiny female brain is going to have a freak out. Do you think I'm going against my own words? Then maybe you just aren't evolved enough yet to understand what's going on. No sense makes sense, you dig? This makes no sense. No sense makes sense, you dig?